Hi, I'm Olivia from Caribou Jane Bees Aquarius Association, and today I will be reading Creepy Carrot uh, from the author's permission. Okay, so he pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them out from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. until they started following him. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it, a soft, sinister thunk, thunk, thunk of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper wintered around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked his toothbrush up off the ground, and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Cracker Hopper Field slowly. He reached for his two wild carrots, but nothing happened. He bit into one, nothing happened. Whew, creepy carrots. That was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom, Mom, Jasper screamed, creepy carrots in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There was no such thing as creepy carrots, his mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper laid in the bed, he heard it, breathing, terrible carroty breathing. And then on his wall, creepy carrots, he shouted, dad, dad. His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. They searched under the bed, no creepy carrots. They searched through his closet, no creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers, no creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, he said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Grasshopper Field. As the sun finally set across the field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no thunk, thunk, thunk. There was no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of the carrot patch again. And as the sun finally set, the carrot of the field cheered. Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. And that is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed.